In this video I want to introduce to you what it means to reduce to a linear law. So let's take a specific example. Uh, we're going to take y equals x squared plus 2. And what I've done is I've put together a table of values for the x and y. So x is going from minus 3 to 3 and these would be the y coordinates. So if I was going to plot this graph then I know it would be a parabola that goes through 2 on the y-axis. So that's a little x and a little y. Okay, and then there would be another point, say uh, 2, and that would be the point 6. Okay, so that is what the actual curve would look like. And let's say um, I have data that looks like this when I plot it. So now let's have a look at x squared y. So instead of looking at x and y, I'm going to look at x squared and y. So uh, x squared would be 9, x squared here would be 4, then 1, then 0, so 1, 4 and 9. And the y coordinates would be the same, so 11, 6, 3, 2, 3, 6, 11. Okay, so let's see what this would look like now if I plotted this. So instead of having x and y, I now have x squared and y. So I'd have the point 0, 2, for example, so 0, 2 there. I would have, so let's try and divvy this up a bit better. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, try and keep it relatively even. Then I'd have 1, 3, okay, so I've got 0, 2, I've got 1, 3, I've got 4, 6, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, so there's 3, 4, 5, 6, and then I've got 9, 11, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, up to 10, a little bit more, so up to 11. And what you're going to start to see is the points roughly make a straight line, or should make a nice straight line. And with a straight line, things are much more easy to predict. So in actual fact, what I have here is y equals x squared plus one, uh, x squared plus two, but plotted with x squared and y. And what I'm getting is a straight line equation. Now the reason why is that if I replace the x squared with capital X and I replace the y with capital Y, then the equation of this line. Rather than being y equals x squared plus one, uh, x squared plus two, sorry, with lowercase x and y, it's now capital Y equals capital X plus two. So this is of the form y equals mx plus c. And so, if I had um, something like y equals three x squared plus seven. I could plot this and it would look like y equals 3x plus 7 on this graph. This form is much easier to visualise and much easier to work from than this one, okay, because of the nature of the curve, because it's parabolic. Okay, so with that in mind, this is what we're going to be talking about when we're reducing to a linear law. And I'm going to show you more examples in the coming videos of how we can make curves become straight line equations. Okay? And this is, this is the interesting part of it, how we're going to use these facts.